Hey guys, welcome to Keys Moz. My name is David Fine, and today we are going to do something very exciting because I got a package outside my front door that was just delivered to me, and it's super, super exciting, guys. We are going to unbox the red spotted purple caterpillars. Guys, I can't wait to see that they're supposedly shipping caterpillars. 10 caterpillars from Shady Oak Butterfly Farm. You guys can find them online. We'll put their information, their website in the bio below. Uh, guys, check them out. And guys, we are going to unbox these guys and see how do 10 red spotted purple caterpillars ship in the mail. Let's see how they do, guys. All right, so guys, they just shipped them and they got delivered literally about 10 minutes ago. So they've only been out here for 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to open this package right before our eyes. And we are gonna see what kind of shape our caterpillars are in. And so this is all gonna be one solid video, guys. It says, open immediately, live plants, insects, and clothes. Guarantee is void unless we are contacted at the time of your delivery about any issues or loss. So we are going to do this right away. And we are going to open up and see what's inside, guys. Here we go. First is first. <clears throat> There are some instructions or something. There is a brochure. Yeah, they are guys. Office team at shadyoaksbutterflyfarm.com. There's the email. And here's some of the information. Shadyoaksbutterflyfarm.com. Um, guys, they have all kinds of stuff, and we're going to get into that a little later. But um, they gave me a pretty decent deal, I would say, on these. But we are going to jump in here and see what kind of shape our caterpillars are in. Wow, this is a small container. Okay. All right, guys, this is a small container and we have 10 red spotted purple caterpillars inside. I'm very excited about that. And also, they also gave me some eggs, which I requested so I can document the life cycle. And there's an egg right there. Guys, it looks like the caterpillars are chewing nice and happily. Let's open this up and see for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that, guys. Red spotted purple caterpillars. They're actually in really good shape. I am really impressed so far. Sorry for all the traffic. I live literally on a busy street. But now it is time to get these guys out. Let's count them all and see if we have 10. It looks like they're in, I see some caterpillars moving around. They're looking like they're eating. They're looking like they're happy. And we'll do some video on them and the eggs, and then we'll get them set up in the containers so that we can raise them. Sound good? Here we go. All right, guys, we're inside the house now. And we're gonna go back into our little package here. We'll read the instructions later. That's what I always do. I always dig in first and read instructions later. Okay, first, let's open up the eggs and let's see if we can get a, like an idea of what this looks like, guys. I'm super excited about this because we're gonna document the whole life cycle of this butterfly and I am really jacked about it. You can see two eggs here on the bottom, but then, oh yeah, look at, that, look at that, look at that. I can't wait to take some pictures of you with my macro lens. 
okay? And I'm gonna zoom in the best I can. The Limonetus species have very ornate eggs and this phone uh, camera doesn't do any justice to how ornate this egg really is. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pictures with my Canon 60D with a macro lens and show you just how ornate those eggs are. But I am super excited about this, um, that I've got some eggs and they look like, I just asked for two. They look like they sent me more than two. I see at least, I see at least three or four eggs in there. So I'm very excited about that. We will take some pictures of that later. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna open this up again. Now, what we're gonna do, we are going to pull these guys out one at a time. Let's take a look, see just how many there are. So, there it is guys. Red spotted purple caterpillar. That's like third instar, and they, they like to sit on the mid-rib of the leaf, just like a Viceroy. They're very similar to Viceroy caterpillars. Very easy to confuse, actually. Um, there's one. Let's see what we got in here. We've got... Two. Three. And you can see, hopefully you can see the scoli on the head of the caterpillars. Well, that, that guy there is fourth instar. The one with the long scoli, the larger one is fourth instar. And the smaller guy who he's pestering, he looks like he's bullying him. That is a third instar caterpillar. And he's actually pre-molt because you can actually see the old head capsule that's about to pop off and he's about to shed his skin. So why don't you, all right, guy, let's, let's let your, uh, your sibling molt here. Why don't you come on over here? Let's separate you two. You can't play nice. Okay, so there's, we have to get these guys some food. All right, let's see what else we got in here, guys. We've got three so far. We've got, Okay, look at this. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Seven so far, guys. We've got, I can see eight, nine, and 10. Let's see. We got eight, yeah. Now you can see definitely on number eight here, the large long scoli of the later instar caterpillar. That is a cool, cool thing. So these scoli that come off off the back of the head capsule signify this genus, the larvae of this genus. And the, the smaller caterpillars don't have those long scoli quite yet. So this, this guy's about to molt. And when he molts, his old head capsule is about to pop off. That little black thing in the front is the old third instar head capsule. And the fourth instar ca head capsule is coming in behind it. And once that skin splits, the caterpillar, the new molt will crawl through the old skin and that little tiny head capsule will pop off. And like literally in an hour, he'll look like these guys right here. So these are the fourth instar caterpillars. That's cool. So we're getting, we're getting multiple instars uh, photographed here, guys. So that's eight so far. Here's nine. We got nine. We've got 10. That guy right there is legit third instar. So I'm gonna try and take some pictures of him. And we'll just kind of thumb through this, see if they gave us any freebies. Don't expect them to, but just in case. Let's just see what we got, see what we got. Nothing there, nothing there. All right, we got 10 guys. 
10 healthy caterpillars. So I just wanted to say good job. I'm very impressed with the condition that my caterpillars arrived in. All 10 are alive, crawling around, and looks like they're all ready to eat. So I am going to go cut some willow and see if we can get them to switch. Uh, but guys, if you wanna see that video, you're gonna have to check us out next time because um, willow is a tough plant to raise them on in cuttings. And so we'll, we're gonna find out if we can raise them on cuttings on willow and see if we can get them to go through their life cycle all the way through. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm super impressed. Guys, check out Shady Oaks Butterfly Farm in North Florida. Website is linked in our description of the video. They've got all kinds of swallowtails, giant swallowtails, palamedes, spice bush, pipe vines, red spotted purples, viceroys, sulfurs, zebra long wings, julias, golf fertilities, all, all for sale there. And they do very nice work. I'm very impressed, guys. I'm going to get my camera out, take some pictures, and I'm going to get these guys on some fresh food. Uh, check out future videos to see how that goes. Will they switch over? Let's see. Guys, until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take care now.